With the fast and low editor, you can also make custom rifles, pistols, and SMGs. These can be created using the VR Custom Weapon template, which is also found in the Tools for Mods Custom Weapon Tools folder. For this segment of the video, we're going to be recreating the silenced pistol, which is already available in the Steam Workshop. Using the VR Custom Weapon template is pretty much identical to the previous Pump Shotgun template. The only differences are that the VR Custom Weapon template consists of four pieces. The gun body, the gun magazine, the gun hammer or bolt, and the slide for bullet ejection. If your custom weapon doesn't have an ejection slide, you can just remove it from the template. If you remove the particle system component from the muzzle game object, your custom weapon will use the default fast and low muzzle flash. This option toggles whether the hammer would slide back when the gun is fired. When using this weapon template, you would also need to make a magazine prefab. This is an object that will spawn when you are unloading your magazine from your gun in-game. The first thing you need to do is create an empty game object. You then need to create another game object inside of that game object. When that is done, add a mesh filter and add a mesh renderer component to your empty game object. As shown in the video, we'll be filling in the empty slots in these components and we'll also be rotating and adjusting the position and the scale of the child object. When you are happy with your prefab, click on the game object and change the name to whatever you like. You can then drag that object back into your projects folders to save the prefab. After that, assign your newly created prefab to your gun and you should be good to go. 
When you're done creating your weapon, drag your game object into the Resources Prefabs folder. When everything is completed, go to Tools and hit Export Mod. Please note that the mod name has to match the prefab name, otherwise it won't work. If everything's done correctly, you can move your newly created mod into your mods folder and you can try out your new weapon.